Hey guys, we're going fishing. So we're anchored off of Indian Key here still, and our plan is to use the awesome cast net Sierra just got me for Christmas, and catch some live bait, and then we're gonna try to go by the bridge or somewhere and catch some snapper or anything really. Anything. We'd be happy with anything. Even if we can eat it, but it'd be better if we could eat it. First pit stop for Jetty. Right here. You want to have the first throw? No way, it's your present. That's our goal. That was pretty good. They were a little bit more on the right, but yeah. first cast was a success. All right, well, two casts and we got a ton of live bait. Just good luck. Jenny got a little break. All right, no luck under the bridge. We have a ripping incoming tide. We're just sitting under the bridge, a lot of rocks around. Um, I don't know, we're always open to some suggestions here using live bait with a weight, maybe some bites, but maybe just snagged on the rocks trying a different spot. All right, spot number two. We're just kind of tucked behind these mangroves over here. A little channel right here. Some grass right behind us. You think we'll catch anything? I hope so. Oh, he's going after the ray? Do they eat ray? It looks like a nurse shark. Billy got a snapper. He swallowed it. Mangrove snapper. It's pretty small. He's a little bit short, but at least we caught something. We don't feel like failures. Jetty has her eye on that fish. Changing spots again. We're going back to another bridge. Well, got something? I had a bite. Come on, love, you're our last hope. I know, we're on our last piece of bait. We just took a little break. We made some lunch that didn't include fish. And uh, it's time for a workout. It's not all, it's not all fun and games on here. I'm bored adrenaline, is it, Sierra? Workout time. Done. 34 seconds. Sierra's turn. It took you 34 seconds? Yep, the whole thing. No, it didn't. Three, two, one, go. Good morning, everybody. It's a breezy day, and we're planning on taking off and cruising a bit further south, which is really more like east now, to Marathon. 
And we have to go to a marina today because we are fully out of water on the boat except for a gallon jug of drinking water. So we're gonna fill up at a marina, get some fuel, get some water, and we're gonna sail all the way there, hopefully. First, we gotta get Jetty her little walk-in. So we're going to this little key we've been anchored off of for the past couple of days, Indian Key. We're gonna go explore. Go ahead, Jess. Good girl. Yeah, whatever. I know it's not the right way. So this place definitely got a little beat up from Irma. Missing a bunch of parts of the deck and the payment thing here for the state park is all destroyed. Okay, so I just read online, Indian Key was the first settlement of the Upper Keys and then served a few different purposes after that, including a work depot for when they were building Alligator Lighthouse, which we were at a few days ago. This was like, I guess their kind of base. Cool spot. All right, we're sailing dead downwind. We got the spinnaker out. How fast are we going? Five knots. Five knots in 10 knots of breeze. Can't be more than 10 knots of breeze right now. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Dead downwind too. Our monster spinnaker that we bought on eBay for $400. So we're, I think we're really figuring out the best way to sail this boat we had some mishaps with the spinnaker last time we had it up, but things like when we're going dead downwind, just fly the spinnaker off both bows. Simple, no other sails out. It's just pulling us downwind. If we want a little bit more of an angle to the wind, we can fly it off of one bow and then have the other sheet come all the way to the back of the boat instead of off the other bow. And that allows us to get a little bit of a higher angle. Okay, now we're 
we're kind of wishing we had shelter outside. We just got like a really nasty, it's, I think it's gonna be small, but it's pouring down rain. I don't know if you can see Billy. He's out there getting poured on. I'm soaking wet. In the cabin so she doesn't get soaked. And she's not happy about that. Looks like it's almost over. Just had a squaw come through like a half hour ago, so we took the spinnaker down, but it's back up now. Wind picked up slightly, probably blowing about 12 knots, and we are flying downwind, six to seven knots easy. Just getting a little push on every little the bump of swell, and uh, trying to avoid all these crap hot steer. Sierra was just steering for a long time and uh, just dodging. There's crab traps everywhere, the buoys. This is our third crab trap in like a week. We ran over two, I think we only hit one other one. I ran over a crab trap, I got stuck on the prop. But don't worry, I got it out pretty quick. That's his third crab trap. He was driving every time. One of them wasn't my fault, it was unforeseen. Two of them, just lack of, I don't know. Pain in the butt, those things are everywhere. Well. We dropped the spinnaker and we're doing the last four or five miles with just the jib and we're still doing four to five knots in 12 knots of breeze downwind. So we're just about there, rounding the corner up and onto the west side of Boot Key, I guess. Super calm, beautiful sailing day. So we're getting fuel and water for the first time since we left Jupiter. Not too bad, even especially with water. I forget how big our tank is. Do you it's remember? Like 80, 80, 80 gallons. gallons. That big? But that's pretty, pretty good because we've both been taking showers. And uh, I think our the salt water uh, pump in the kitchen sink really helps when we're doing dishes. We do it all with salt water first, and then just rinse it with fresh water. I think that helps save a lot. So we just left the fuel dock. We got some fuel and water. When was the last time we were there? Between one and two weeks ago, we were at the fuel dock. So we only had 14 gallons of fuel, which is pretty awesome. I think it was like three, 10 a gallon or something like that. And we got 75 gallons of water, which I think our tank is 75 or 80 gallons. Um, but they actually charge for water down here in the middle and lower keys. I don't think the upper keys do because they have to pipe their water all the way from Miami to, to here. So it was 15 cents a gallon and at 75 gallons is 11.25, something like that. So about 60 bucks for fuel and water for two weeks almost. You say we did good. All right, we're gonna pick up a mooring here, a marathon at the city marina. And then we're gonna go grocery shopping and then Billy really doesn't know it yet, but I think we're gonna go out to eat and get pizza. I guess we don't have to call in for that bridge to open. <laughs> city Marina, City Marina. This is a sailing vessel, Adrenaline. This is pretty cool. This is the first big mooring field that, this is the only mooring field we've ran into in the Keys so far. Yeah. 21, and then she said turn down. 1A. So she said turn here though. Wait, do I turn here? So they have 250 moorings, and they're all in like these perfect straight lines. I'm excited to get a drone shot from the air. See what that looks like from above. Some really cool boats in here though.
We're going to get some food. We'll see you guys later.